Hello, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the frames that come with Photoshop Elements to put a frame around your photos. The first thing we need to do is get the Contents panel visible. And if you look over in your Panels bin and you don't see it, you can go under the Window menu and get it from there. And once you have the Content panel, you'll see there's two drop-down menus, one here, and one here. In the one on the left, we want to choose by type, which is the one at the very top. So select that. And in the other one, we want to choose frames. And as soon as you do that, you see all the thumbnails of the different frames that come with elements, and there's literally hundreds of them. Now I'm using Photoshop Elements version 8. If you're using a different version, it'll work much the same way. It may look a little bit different, but basically it's the same. If you look in your Layers panel and you see that you just have a background layer, that's kind of what you have when you open any new image in Elements. And you can apply a frame to a background layer. And let me show you how that works. Let's scroll down here and find maybe this purple frame and I'm just going to drag it over right on top of my photo and you can see it does some processing and then it puts that purple frame around my photo and there's this little control strip that is right above my photo and if I click on that slider I can make my photo larger or smaller and then I can also move it around inside of the frame to a different position and once I get it the way I like it I can just click on the green check mark to commit to that change and now when I move it uh, the frame and the photo move as one one piece together now if I want if I want to change that size or position after I've already committed to it I can go ahead and double click on the photo and it will bring up that control strip again and then I can resize it, reposition it or whatever and then click the green check mark when I'm done again. One thing I'm sure you noticed is that it cropped our photo way down inside of that frame so to get some of that back, well, and also you'll notice we have all this empty space above and below and a little bit on the sides of our frame. So to get some of that photo back, you can go up to the image menu and choose um, transform and then free transform. And you'll get the handles around the outside of the frame. And then you can just grab those handles on all four sides one at a time and pull them out you can click um, you can click the green check mark to say OK to that and then if you want to uh, reposition the photo inside of the frame just double click on it and just grab it and move it and if you want to scale it you can use the slider and then when you get it the way you want it just click on the green check mark again one thing about this is your photo is the same size as it was before except now the frame goes out to the very edges so you might want to give that little breathing room and you can easily do that by expanding your canvas and here's an easy little trick for doing that. Go over to your toolbox and click on the crop tool and then just drag diagonally over your whole photo and again you'll get the, um, the handles and if you hold down the Alt key on a Windows computer or on a Mac it would be the Option key so I'm holding down the Option key and now I'm going to grab one of the four corners and pull it diagonally and you can see it expands out evenly 
on all four sides. And then if I click on the green check mark, I have that space around the photo, but it's a transparent space. So what I'm going to do is put a new layer below that and fill it with white so that transparent area gets filled with white. Holding down the control key on a Windows machine or the command key on a Mac, when I click that add a new layer icon and it puts the new layer below the present layer. And now I want to fill that with white. If I go up to the edit menu and down to fill layer, click on that and I get this dialog box. I could do background color because that's white or I could just choose white from here. So I'm going to choose white, say OK, and it fills, you can see in the layers panel, it fills that layer with white and now um, you can also see that the transparent area is gone and it also brings out a nice drop shadow that was there all along but you really couldn't see it when the background was transparent unless you looked really hard. So now we have a new, completely new image, a new photo. It has a frame around it, it has a little space so if we decide to print this out we don't have to worry about that frame being too close to the edge and getting um, cropped off of our photo. Is go over to the layers panel and flatten this image and save it as a JPEG and it's all ready to print out or to actually drag into another photo if we want to. So that pretty much wraps this up. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see lots more information on Photoshop Elements, visit my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Until next time, this is Rick saying take care.